Hello. Hi. Hello, my people. Will you ever see my other eye? I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to do an Instagram challenge because I used to do them all the time, which by the way, my life has been getting a lot better and I think it's because I follow Jesse Page on Instagram. I have been told that people have been getting more concert tickets since they followed. I think, I don't think, I know there is a direct correlation. I'm watching you right now. Go follow. Hot. Essentially, I saw Ryan do this on YouTube. Wanted to give full credit to him because I saw him do this first. I did not think of this idea myself. This whole video is just heavily inspired by the way he did his video. I'm gonna link it in the description, but be sure to check it out. I thought it was such a good video and I decided I would take some of my favorite celebrities and Photoshop them in the back of my photos for a bit and see if anyone noticed. You'll have to go and read the comments on my Instagram. That was a good promo. Essentially, I just took some normal pictures of me and I tried to make them on brand to what I normally post. And then I edited Tom Holland, Billie Eilish, Harry Styles. Follow Health is Mental and Physical, my other account. That'd be appreciated. It's all about eating disorder recovery and happiness and body positivity. This video was super fun and let me know maybe what else I should hide in my pictures. Or maybe I'm already hiding something else in my photos. And like this video just to support a blue haired bean. Okay, bye. Photo done. Yay. For anyone that actually knows how to use Photoshop, I'm completely self taught and so definitely possible that I'm not doing things the right way. I just do it how I know how to do it. That's valid. Yeah. What we're doing right now is we are taking out the background so Billy can be walking down our street. And I'm really street. disgusted because I see a lot of people posting a lot of very inappropriate comments about her now that she's it 18. So it's really bad, it's right? Disgusting. It's a lot. Billie Eilish protection squad, <laughs> assemble. <laughs> There's no one else here. <laughs> you called. Sneaky is wise. I wouldn't be where I am career wise if it wasn't for Sneaky. <laughs> but if I ever do an interview, I'll be like, I really need to think Sneaky. <laughs> Okay, she's coming out good so far. <laughs> you just see her walking in the back, it's so cute. <laughs> I just announced that I'm opening for my friends. So if you don't know, my friends, Pally Royale, they needed someone to open for them at their LA show. It's going to be Friday, May 29th at the Wiltern in Los Angeles. Go see it. Go see it, go buy tickets. This person asked me to marry them, sure, just give me a time and place we can make it adventure time themed. That would be great. <laughs> Ooh, out of all your music videos, which one was the most fun to film? Phantom, by far, yeah. <laughs> How excited are you to be the opening for the band? I'm so excited to open for Palais and terrified, but really honored. <laughs> are you going to be making another song? I've currently been doing this thing where I'm kind of always working on music, which has been really cool. I have two that I'm working on right now that are like almost-ish done. <laughs> Someone goes, how do you find a girlfriend? How do you find so many? How do you find so <laughs> many? <laughs> my current girlfriend is my second girlfriend. How are you feeling about your first live performance? I'm hoping it's honestly not my first live performance because I really want to practice before I'm on stage with someone is amazing and sweet. Ooh, who is a YouTuber you look up to? Well, I talk all the time, but I love Thomas Sanders. I love Haley Pham. She's great. She got me into watching <laughs> Curtis Connor. I like Claudia Salewski's vlogs. I love Shane Dawson, obviously. And Jeffree Star of Nikki Tutorials. I watch Emma Chamberlain. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna copy her from here. Put her. <laughs> she's there like, it is, and now she's it's done. So tiny. Okay, which way should we have her walking? That looks like the right size. You want her to be walking this way? Yeah. Should we make her a little bigger? I mean, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so cute. Well, because if we, if we make her too big, it's going to be obvious, you know? But I'm going to do real quick just to make it look a little bit more realistic. So I'm going to add some shadow to the ground so it looks Ooh, like she's smart. standing.
are done. There was kind of a thing where she's gonna look like disproportionate with the house, but she would be too small if she was proportionate with the house in the mailbox. Cause I, I kind of want people to start predicting this video and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So this is the finished photo. And if you look in the back, there's Billy. <laughs> so the background is blurry just cause like, that's how cameras work. And what I did was I just kind of did some light stuff to make her match how the sun is coming through the trees. I did my best. And then I blurred her a little bit. That way I matched the background so it wasn't just like her being really clear when everything else was blurry. We're gonna be putting Harry Styles in this one. It's where he's holding some smoothies and he like is coming from sunlight. We're currently posting our Billie Eilish photos. So far, no one's said anything about Billie being in it. We have our Harry. Take Harry from here and put him over here. Look, a Billie Eilish fan account reposted it. Oh. <laughs> Is that how we're gonna do it? <laughs> I love that so much. Soap underscore G's is what's the most meaningful line in Skeleton. Rest in peace, my disease. That part hits. How has the move to Florida been? It's been going slowly. Do I plan on getting any more tattoos? Honestly, I've had this first tattoo concept for such a long time that I don't know what I would want to get next because when something's on your body forever, you want to make sure you think about it. A pride underscore biscuit says, how did you get through bad periods of life? For me, I just like really like to remember and remind myself and believe that things are temporary because there's just always hope in that. Yeah, <laughs> that's perfect. The picture of Harry is done. This one's um, a lot more obvious, yeah, which I like. Is, yeah, what I did was I modeled the perspective because I'm really bad with perspective, so I modeled it off of another guy that was like just a random guy that was in the background. Lowered the contrast and the brightness because it's in the shade and the picture of Harry was really bright. So that's Harry done. So we're currently in a juice place and tattoo is showing, wow. I think we're gonna do a giveaway post because I've been meaning to do that on my main Insta. I'm also wearing a Shane Dawson shirt. Let's. I managed to hide my tattoo from my dad with this one, which was great. We're doing a car one and we're gonna have people in the back there or whoever we're putting in the back. Okay, so we just got that look. I wasn't filming it, but we ended up just adding in a rainbow flag. So I was like, I'm kind of not the type of person to just post my outfit and we want this to be believable. So we kind of just added in a gay flag and it's really cute, I'll show you. <laughs> this hair is like very, Shapely. <laughs> I posted the photos with Billie Eilish in the back and there's a few more comments of people noticing but I would say 2% of people noticed which is crazy. People thought my photoshopping was obvious. It got to 11 hours ago to finally find a comment on um, Billie Eilish and it says, are you dropping a video where you hide people in your pictures because Billie Eilish is nobody noticing Billie Eilish in the background. Call the Killjoys said Billie Eilish, LMAO what, in the background. So I'm currently watching YouTube and I'm, while she's editing this, we'll put in a fast motion of her editing everything.
best I can do, I think. I've tried this <laughs> three different times. I don't know, I think it looks realistic enough. Does it look real? <laughs> like, it, it looks real to me. I think who's gonna be featured in this one? Remy, the biggest <laughs> celebrity. It stalls the background. Wires. Soften the edges a little bit because in his fur you can still see some of the background. Do you want him on the, in the hole? <laughs> Maybe he's like just, just next to next it. To you. <laughs> I think that should just be it. That should just be the photo. Yeah. Very realistic. You're so up close and personal with Remy. You're so lucky. <laughs> Sorry, Remy. This is what I have. Of, look at You can see his shadow. <laughs> he looks good. You're underestimating your abilities to edit rats. It's not okay. What I learned from this experience <laughs> is that Photoshop is really hard. Overall, most people didn't notice. There are more comments about my expressions in photos. Like, you look so happy here than like what's actually going on in the background. But that's so sweet. Thank you. Proud of my children. I guess it also shows how quick our attention spans are on social media. And it's not even necessarily a, like, people aren't smart. It's just what do people focus on. I don't think I would have noticed at all. Yeah. It goes to show like, you know, you could spend so much time looking at a picture of yourself and questioning, Yeah. you know, oh, are people gonna notice this? Are people gonna notice this? But turns out- That's a good mental health related message. I like that. Or I'll spend so long like being stuck in between two photos and it's like, it's just Jesse at the end of the day. I'm a feature. <laughs> Your pages on the screen. Cause I'm Jesse Page. Haha. <laughs> -ha. She's like, yeah, go off Jesse. <laughs> as well as your posts. As for my Instagram engagement, I always like to see if it changes at all when I start posting things different. I don't really notice that the photos with celebrities got more or less comments. It actually didn't change. And I think that's because so many people didn't realize the celebrities were in the back. Over the week, I grew 2,000 followers. That's kind of normal for me this time of fear, I guess. I don't really check it too much. It didn't affect anything in that sense, but it was super fun, honestly, being like, hee hee, and know, like, I know something you don't. <laughs> 10 out of 10 would do it again. <laughs> That's kind of like an update. I'm gonna put some comments on the screen from people that noticed, cause I wanna give y'all shout outs. And then I'm just gonna put some nice comments on those photos that, from people that didn't notice, just cause, I want you all to be appreciated. Wholesome, I'm a Hufflepuff. We know. <laughs> cool. Yeah, 